Hello my wonderful people. My name is Ashwin and welcome to the Squash Curry channel. Today we are making two very simple dal recipes which are also called as lentil curries. These are a very good source of plant-based protein. They are vegan, gluten-free and contain very little oil. So chaliye banate hain. One cup of masoor dal, on the right you have soaked it and on the left you have not soaked it. One and a half cups of tomato and one and a half cups of onion. One and a half inches of ginger. Six pieces of garlic, cloves and three small green chilies. Cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and hing. Six to eight curry leaves. Two teaspoons of garam masala. And three teaspoons of coriander powder. Red chili powder. Cilantro. A lime. Shredded coconut. I have used the dried version. You can also use fresh coconut or the frozen one. And salt. We're going to start by boiling some water. Add three cups of water. And then we're going to add our dal. We're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Save salt for later. We're going to use it. Then turmeric. We're going to use all of that this time. Stir it a bit as we bring it to a boil. Keep it moving so it doesn't burn. Now we're gonna make the masala. First, bring a pan to medium heat. Let it get hot. Just check the pan. Don't push your hand all the way into it. Now we're gonna add the cumin seeds. and mustard seeds. Now we're going to add the heen. And drop in the curry leaves. Keep it moving so it doesn't burn. Once they've been in there a while, we're going to add the onions. Garlic. Now because we're not using oil, you're gonna to need to add a little water every now and then. It deglazes the pan and keeps things from sticking. If it sticks, just add more water. Okay, now for the important part, the tomatoes. Here comes the ginger and the green chili. Be careful and wash your hands afterwards. You don't want to touch anything sensitive with chili hands. We're gonna add one more teaspoon of salt. And keep it moving. You don't want it to burn. So 
So this is how we know the micelle is done. It'll start to stick to the bottom of the pan, but just keep scraping it. It won't stick too badly. And we want to get all the moisture out of there and make sure the tomatoes are cooked. Coriander powder. Now we add our garam masala. Make sure we get all of it. A little red chili powder. Now that it's cooked a bit, we're gonna add our dal. We're gonna add one more cup of water to it and then bring it to a boil over medium heat. Now's the time we're gonna taste a bit of it. And it needs more salt. And we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. Now that we've got it boiling, let's add some coconut. And we're gonna add the cilantro. Now plate and serve. Oh yeah, and don't forget the garnish. Toradol, soaked, garlic, tomatoes, medium chopped, cumin seeds, red chili powder, and curry leaves. Turmeric, coriander powder, and asafoetida. Salt, cilantro, and this one's optional, sunflower or peanut oil. Make sure that you thoroughly wash and then soak the tur dal for at least 30 minutes. As you can see, the color of the dal will lighten when it's soaked well. Now bring out your favorite pot and add about three to four cups of water. I'm adding three here. You will need to cook this on medium high. Next, we will add the soaked dal. The dal expands in volume when you soak, so like it's this just one cup of dal. <laughs> we will also go ahead and add some turmeric. Next, we will add about a teaspoon of salt. It just helps uh, the dal to cook uh, faster since we are not using a pressure cooker here. If you're using a pressure cooker, the cooking time for the dal will reduce to like half. So just cook it for eight to 10 minutes in a pressure cooker or an instant pot. When the dal is just about to get cooked, heat up another pan on medium heat and add the oil. When the oil is heated up, add these in quick succession. Hing or asafoetida, cumin, curry leaves and garlic. Make sure you do not use very high heat for this, otherwise the cumin will burn and that would not add a very flavorful taste to the dal. Once the garlic is roasted, add the tomatoes and the other dry spices. Add about half a teaspoon of salt, 
coriander powder and the red chili powder. We add salt at this step to make sure the tomatoes cook faster. We will cook the tomatoes until they turn all mushy and soft, basically cooked. And uh, we need to make sure that they dry out as much as possible. Just keep stirring them and don't let them stick on the pan. You'll know the tomato is cooked when it starts leaving the pan like this and that means our masala is ready. Now back to the dal. You'll see that the dal is cooked. It will look like this. We'll lose a lot of water just because we have to boil it in an open pot. Next, we'll blend the dal into a smooth paste. We'll now heat up the blended dal and add the tomato masala. Now comes an optional ingredient, the jaggery powder. It's just there to add a little bit of sweetness to our dal. You can completely skip it if you don't like sweet dal. Mix everything well and also add about two to three cups of water. This is where you control the consistency. It depends what you're having the dal with. If you want to have it with rice, you make it more runny. For roti and other breads, you can keep it thick. I'm adding about two cups of water to this. Once the water is added, bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Taste and add salt if required at this point. Finally, add the cilantro and mix well and bring the dal off the heat and your dal is ready. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on the Instagram.